So it seems as though Nikki Haley not only refuses to drop out of a race she is destined to lose, but somehow seems to think that there's a possibility she could win. An opinion from Newsweek says that while it doesn't look likely, uh, you, you never really know. And at this point, she is the clear number two. Phrasing, there's only two people in the race. So yeah, I mean, it's just saying a loser with a little less... Um, well, anger about it. If Trump should go on to win the nomination and lose in the general election, especially if he loses badly, then she would be positioned as the alternative to Trump or Trump type candidates in 2028. According to Grant Davis Reher, who is a professional political science idiot at Syracuse University. No, she has actually been completely rejected by the GOP and the Republican base. Uh, Haley's staying in after Super Tuesday uh, is not too long, he said, noting Trump's political and legal controver controversies. It is completely reasonable reasonable to see what more of the Republican electorate thinks about the nomination, he said, because he's a moron. But the fact of the matter is, he said earlier up, staying in the race, she risks uh, irritating and alienating the Republican base. She hasn't just risked that. She has already achieved it. Nobody likes Nikki Haley, and that's why she is text messaging Democrats in South Carolina to come vote for her in the primary, and they're saying to lose her number. Nobody likes Nikki Haley, except the guys with whom she cheats on her husband. Speaker Johnson from Fox News talks uh, 2024 with Trump at Mar-a-Lago while Haley vows to stay in the race. Speaker uh, Mike Johnson uh, marked President's Day by meeting with the former president about the 2024 election cycle at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. It comes at as Trump's last major primary opponent, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, announced Tuesday she was staying in the race because she's a loser and she wants to lose as hardly and publicly as she possibly can, despite losing every contest to Trump so far. And she's going to lose South Carolina as well. Speaker Johnson met with Trump in Florida on Monday to discuss the growing majority and securing uh, or sorry, growing the majority and securing Republican victories up and down the ballot in November. Johnson uh, campaign spokesman Greg Steele told Fox News Digital. Attending the meeting with Johnson was Rep. Uh, Richard Hudson, Republican of North Carolina, chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee and the House GOP's campaign arm. Uh, they were in Florida for the House GOP leadership's annual retreat. The NRCC did not respond to a request for the group's own readout of the meeting. A Trump spokesperson also did not respond to a request for comment, largely because Fox News basically blacklisted uh, Donald Trump because they were trying to get him replaced by DeSantis and now Haley. House Republican leaders have made an unprecedented show of unity around Trump as he seeks the GOP nomination for president because they're afraid, because they know that Trump is basically a kingmaker at this point, especially because he's actually on the ballot. Even the rhino Mitch McConnell has gotten behind Trump. Johnson released a video earlier this month calling on fellow Republicans to coalesce around Trump. Following victories in Iowa, New Hampshire, and the U.S. Virgin Islands in Nevada, it is time for Republicans to unite behind President Trump so we can focus on ending the disastrous Biden presidency and growing our majority in Congress, he said in the short clip. The fact of the matter is everybody except Nikki Haley's money-grubbing campaign managers and Nikki Haley herself actually understand that Donald Trump is very likely to not only be the nominee, but also the president come this time next year. But that doesn't stop Haley from just wasting a bunch of money and pissing a lot of people off. Thanks for watching.